What's up everyone, my name is Nick. I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I live in this beautiful country called Malaysia. I make videos about my life and my different experiences on a, on a daily basis. So today's video is gonna be about the top 10 national parks that you can visit here in Malaysia. This is Global Given. Did you know that there's over 60 national parks and nature reserves here in the country? So let's see which ones make it to the top 10. Here we go. We'll start the list off with a beautiful national park in West Malaysia called Endau Rumpin in the state of Johor. This 900 square kilometer national park has beautiful waterfalls and it has some of the oldest rainforests in the world. It is also home to one of the most endangered species here in Malaysia, the Malayan tiger. During a visit here, you will definitely check out some of these amazing waterfalls. You could even go river tubing down the river. And if you got time, you can check out one of these aboriginal settlements of the Orang Asli tribe. If you want to visit the park, it's about a two-hour drive from the capital of Kuala Lumpur. Once you reach the border of the park, a local person will pick you up and take you in his four-wheel drive into the park. There is some accommodation and if you're a little adventurous, I would advise you to go camping. On number 9 of this list, we have another national park in West Malaysia called the Royal Balloom National Park in the state of Perak. This ancient piece of rainforest is home to numerous animals including the Malayan tiger, some elephants, the Malayan tapir and of course the white-handed gibbon. In the center of the park lies the Temenggor Lake, which is the second largest lake in West Malaysia. Now on your visit here, you will definitely go on a boat and explore the lake in search of wildlife. Another cool activity to do is take one of the trails to one of these salt licks, and this is the spot where all this wildlife might come down, so you might be able to spot that Malayan tiger or an elephant. There's a few options regarding accommodation, including the Balloom Rainforest Resort with beautiful views over the lake. Now let's head on over to Borneo, to the state of Sarawak, to the national park of Batang Ai. Batang means river in the local language and Ai is the name of that river. This 24 square kilometer national park borders Indonesia and what is so unique about this park is that the Iban tribes that still live within or near the park, they live in harmony with nature and all the wildlife that can be found there. Batang Ai is home to one of my favorite animals, the orangutan. There are a lot of orangutans that still live in their natural habitat here. Actually, it is one of the most densely populated areas by orangutan in the whole world. There are 1.7 orangutans living in Batangai per square kilometers. So, if you're interested in seeing these majestic creatures, this is the place to go. To visit this place, you will leave Kuching, the state capital, on a five-hour drive to the Batangai Hydro Lake. Here you will meet one of the local Iban who will pick you up in their boat and you'll go upriver into the deep, deep jungle. Accommodation wise, you can stay with the Iban in one of their traditional longhouses. For number seven on this list, we're staying in Borneo, but we're heading over to the state of Sabah. Kinabalu Park is one of the most impressive national parks here in Malaysia because it is home to the tallest mountain in Southeast Asia. Mount Kinabalu is 495 meters above sea level. So if you're in good shape and you're into a good hike, this is the national park for you to visit. If you would like to climb the mountain, it takes about three days and it is well, well worth it. 
The National Park is also home to the amazing Nepenthes flower, which is the pitcher plant that eats insects. And besides that, there's also 90 different types of mammals that live within the park. There is ample accommodation in and near the park and to get there you will travel from the state capital of Kota Kinabalu for about two hours up to the highlands where you will be able to enter the park. Number six on this list of top 10 national parks to visit in Malaysia is Tamanagara. This national park lies in the heart of West Malaysia and it is one of the most popular parks by tourists here in the country. This is also the oldest national park in Malaysia and it was gazetted all the way back in 1939. The park consists of ancient rainforests dating back over 130 million years. The main activities you would do in this park is bird watching, jungle hiking and you can even walk along the canopy walkway to get a really good view of the rainforest. The Kinabatangan River is a beautiful river in the northeast of Borneo in the state of Sabah. To visit this national park, the Kinabatangan River National Park, you best fly into a little town called Sandakan, from where you'll take a drive into the jungle to one of the many lodges along the river. The main thing to do here in the Kinabatangan River is wildlife watching. Along this river, you'll have some of the best chances to spot wild animals. These include the proboscis monkey, the pygmy elephant, and of course you can see crocodiles in the river, and snakes and all these other creatures. So if you're into wildlife, this is the place for you to visit here in Malaysia. On number four on this list, we have Bako National Park in the state of Sarawak. This national park was gazetted in 1957 and is the first national park of Sarawak. Bako National Park lies some 30 kilometers from the state capital of Kuching. And what is so unique about this park is that it has a wide variety of vegetation. These include cliff vegetation, mangrove forest, swamp forest and ditrocarp forest. There are many animals that live in Banco National Park as well, including three types of monkeys. There is the big-nosed orang balanda or proboscis monkey, the cheeky macaques and the handsome silvered langurs. Besides these monkeys, you can also see wild boars, snakes and an abundance of beautiful birds. You're best off spending at least one night in Bako National Park to explore the trails and see as much wildlife as possible. Now, you better bring your sun hat because the only way in the park is by boat. For number three, we're gonna stay in Sarawak a little bit longer. In the most western part of Sarawak lies the National Park of Tanjung Datu. Even though it is one of the smallest parks in Malaysia, it is dubbed as the heaven of Borneo. The park is bordered by Indonesia on one side and the South China Sea on the other side. And the streams that come down from the mountain are as crystal clear as you've ever seen them. One of the most impressive birds of Malaysia can be found here in Tanjung Datu National Park called the Hornbill. Besides the Hornbill, there's also gibbons that you can hear in the early morning when you wake up. Now, you can go on various trails here and the accommodation is quite basic but beautiful because you can wake up, step out of bed and be on the beach. On number two, we've got Denham Valley National Park in eastern Sabah on the island of Borneo. This place is so unique because there is an abundance of wildlife, including the clouded leopard, the orangutan, the gibbons, and there's even elephants, just to name a few. 
What makes this place so special is that until the point it was gazetted as a conservation area, there was no human settlement near this place. So no logging, no hunting has been done. So this place has been preserved as a very beautiful piece of nature. And it was actually proposed to become one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You can visit Denham Valley by flying into a little town called Lahadatu. From here you'll take a three hour four wheel drive into the national park where you can find a few types of accommodation for your stay. Number one on the list of top 10 national parks to visit in Malaysia is the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Mulu National Park. Deep in the Sarawak jungle lies this beautiful park which is home to some of the largest cave systems in the world. One of these caves, the Sarawak Chamber, is so large that it could fit up to 40 747 Boeing airplanes. Each day hundreds of thousands of bats fly out from the cave and this is a really cool thing to experience. Now other activities include a visit to one of the local tribes in the area and one thing that I advise you to do is to go on a four-day hike to the limestone pinnacles. The only way to get to Mulu National Park is by plane. For accommodation there is actually a five-star resort there and various local homestays. All right, so that sums up the top 10 national parks that you can visit here in Malaysia. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every single week. For now, I wish you a lovely day and bye-bye.